OK Rob, uh, another big game for United and uh, it's uh, Arsenal coming to Old Trafford, how do you see this game? Well yeah, I mean, it, it is another big game, um, in, a, in a run of big games that United have had recently with, with two games against Chelsea. Um, I think it's pretty clear that it's not going to be another 8-2 like last year um, and obviously United will be wary um, of Arsenal because even if they've had players sort of leave like Van Persie to United they always seem to be to be competitive and Arthur Wenger spent, seems to have spent his, spent his money quite um, quite cleverly this summer so um, like you say it's another big game but again I mean I think um, Charlie Ferguson will fancy United's chances against anyone at home and, and probably away this season so I think he'd still expect to beat Arsenal OK, just focusing on Van Persie for a moment. Um, one of the, the main worries that supporters had when he joined in the summer was his fitness record, but actually he's played as much as anyone for United. How, how do you assess his start for the Reds? Well, I mean, I think it's, it's probably been the best possible start. Um, like you said, there, was, there were concerns there when he, when he did join that um, he'd had a, a chequered injury record at um, at Arsenal, um, he'd missed quite a lot of games for for a variety of different reasons and, and different injuries. And obviously, being 29, there's a, there's a concern there that he could end up spending sort of 24 million on a on a centre forward. He could could get injured in the first couple of weeks, and, and then you don't see him again, and, and you don't get your money's worth. Um, I think up until now, I, I think those days have proved unfounded. Really, um, he, he slotted in straight away. He's he's scoring goals. Um, not only is he scoring goals, he's, he's proving vital to how United um, are wanting to play at the moment. I mean, obviously, his goal record at United speaks for itself, um, but his all-around play has been absolutely fantastic. Um, his movement, it, especially in the box against Chelsea on Sunday, was... It. I mean, if, you, if you're looking for, uh, for something to, to show young kids how to, how to play as a centre-forward, then, then that would probably be it. Um, I mean, I think, I think um, United's medical staff and, and Fergie will still be a bit wary. Perhaps all, all it takes is, is one injury um, to, to sideline him. But United are a huge club with, with fantastic medical staff, uh, and they'll know all about that. Um, I, I think they'll just sort of they'll be happy at the moment that he's, he's fit and he's scoring goals. OK. Um, ahead of last week's game against Chelsea, Fergie hinted that he thought the title was a three-horse race this year with Chelsea and City. Um, what do you think of that? Do you think that's fair to Arsenal? Do you think they're title contenders? Um, well, without wanting to be disrespectful to Arsenal, no. Um, I don't think they are. I think they'll, they'll probably play quite an important part in the title race by taking points off other teams. Um, they're like United, Chelsea and City. Um, they've already taken points off, off City at, at the Etihad this season. Um, but, no, I, I mean, I, I can't see them, them being... Um, there or there about it towards the end of the season. Um, I mean, I've been proved wrong a, a million times before and never expected Chelsea to win the Champions League last season, so you, you never know. But I think, I think what Fergie said is probably fair enough that, that while Arsenal are a, a good side and, and will um, threaten the teams that are, are in the title race, I, don't, I can't see them, um, them finishing the job in May. Um, I think it will be between United City and Chelsea. Yeah, I said they seem to have a bit more of a heavyweight look about them this season. I don't know what, don't know if you go along with that, but uh, Rooney seems to be sort of getting into his stride, and like Van Persie, like you say, would you make them favourites at the moment, or do you still think maybe Chelsea or City are, are edging ahead? I think I mean it's difficult to say at this stage. I mean I think it's amazing what what Van Persie's name on the team sheet does for, for United. Um, Obviously, he's a, he's a fantastic striker and, a, and one of the, the best players in the world. Um, but his his name on a team sheet has almost transformed um, United from from people sort of worrying that maybe they'll be up, that they were going to be also around this season to to be right up there and, and compete for the title. Um, in terms of his favourite, I, I, it's, it's too I think it's too tight to call. Um, obviously, um, City have got the experience from last season. Um, they made a few mistakes um, in the in the new year in, in January February time, and I'm sure they'll be determined to cut those out and um, and push on. Um, Chelsea have brought a lot of a lot of new players in in the summer and spent a lot of money and have started really well. So I think in November I think it's difficult to, to sort of to pick a, a single favourite out. Um, although I think it, it's going to be key how, how those two how those teams do against the, the big teams, and obviously United have got one of those big teams on. Um, tomorrow and, and they'll be looking to, to take points off them um, and win 
Mike Smith. Okay, just finally, what's your score prediction for the game? Um, I'm going to go 2 0 United. I think it'll be. Um, it'll also be tight early on, um, like all these big games are. Um, but I think I think United with Van Persie and, and Rooney playing how, how they are at the moment, and I know the, the big players that were resting the week back, I think they'll probably they'll do a professional job on Arsenal um, tomorrow, and I think they'll win soon. Okay, great.